will be comparing Intel's Celeron 2955U with the Celeron 2820. It's important to know what architecture they are driven by. The N2820 is the bait rail processor, which is the same line that drives the Intel Atom processor. They are low performance, low power. This was originally designed by the Intel for the netbook kind of thing, the smaller processor, the smaller notebooks with better battery life. But Celeron 2955U is the regular Haswell processor which you see in notebooks and high performance desktop, desktops. So even though the clock frequency shows Celeron 2820 at higher clock and Celeron 2955U at lower clock frequency at 1.4 GHz, the Celeron is still beats because it's because of its architecture. And you notice that the 2820 also comes with a turbo clock and 2955U does not come with a turbo clock. But still, if you look at the path mark score, which said we have benchmark score, to compare this processor, we see that the Celeron 2955U is 1.5 times the processing power. The things that work in favor of the N2820 is its TDP rating. So if you are really looking for a low power, higher battery life processor, you are going to with the Celeron N2820. Let's take a look at its uh, specifications on the Intel website. Pretty much we have covered everything. The 2955U comes with the higher cache memory and that's one thing that works in favor of it. Both of them are priced about the same. So if you are really looking for a performance, go with the Haskell one. Unless the TDP or power rating is your concern, in which case you might want to lose some performance but gain in terms of power performance. The HD graphics, both of them are same, come with the same HD graphics as Intel tells, but the N2820 is at the higher clock frequency. Hope that it helps. Thanks and leave your comment below.